Tonight, the 41-year-old married father of three, a Modesto High School teacher, has landed behind bars for sex with yet another underage girl. What do we know about that case? Uh, it says oral copulation, oral sex on a minor. What do we know about that case, Ellie? Right, Nancy. Well, what prosecutors say happened is that uh, James Hooker befriended this girl, then started a romantic relationship with her, and then in August of 1998 committed this sex assault on her, which they say was oral copulation. Now, this uh, victim is identified only as Jane Doe, but Jordan Powers, the current girl who was with him, she says that she was told by him, uh, Hooker, that he went over to this girl's house, she came out of the bathroom naked. He says he only touched her boobs and her legs, and then well, he got so Ellie, freaked out. Ellie, yep. I assume that that is a quote. That You're is a quote, yes. No, no. Those are her so words. So what is a 41-year-old teacher doing over at a high school student's home alone, a girl oh, student? Why well, is he there? Well, good question. Right. Well, he apparently, according to what he told Jordan Powers, he met this other victim, a leather alleged victim, in 1998, met her online, is what Hooker allegedly told Jordan Powers, went over to hang out as friends when the alleged victim came out of the bathroom naked. He admitted, allegedly, to Jordan Powers that he touched, like I said, just her boobs and her legs, and then he got freaked out and left. This is what Jordan Powers says that he told her happened. Unleash the lawyers. Kelly Sandin, former prosecutor Chicago, Hugo Rodriguez, defense attorney, former FBI Miami, Holly Hughes, defense attorney, Atlanta. Since you're the only male lawyer, Hugo Rodriguez, I'm going to go with you. An underage high school student walks out of the bathroom and his first impulse is not to go, whoa, 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 put on a towel, please. Instead of doing that, he walks over and grabs her breasts. What was he doing there? Um, in this particular situation, the victim wasn't his student. He taught it in an attendant high school, what but still at the time she was up. 17. Excuse me? What did you just say? It wasn't his She wasn't student? his student. So? No, she wasn't his student. He taught so? at a different high school. So what? No. I'm not saying, I'm just saying we were talking so, about uh, 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 teachers uh, uh, and students. Don't. I'm not, I am not number forgiving one. him. I'm just saying he, she wasn't his student. She was 17 at the time. He was in his late 20s. If no, it's no, true, no. He was then 30. he's been charged. He was 30. And he's 41 now. It was 14 years ago. He was a student. And your defense is she's not his student. No, no, that's not my defense. I was well, just highlighting that saying? to you. Why? No, I'm highlighting it to you. I don't disagree that... If it can be proven, and they have corroborating information, that they could go forward. But it is 14 years ago, and not so? recently. Last week, we had a situation where a young girl told the truth about the alleged rape by her father after her father spent nine years in prison. So there's going to have to be more evidence than the victim's word in this case to go forward. Well, what are you trying I'm saying to that say? there's going to have to be more evidence. Okay, how about him admitting, him being caught on tape?